Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a birthday card. This birthday card is for my youngest daughter, Jillian. This card is a trifold card and I, let, me put my, let me show you. I have a little bit of Velcro holding the card closed, but it opens up and it shows a hidden message inside and has cutouts. This card is really simple to make. You just need to do a little bit of preparation and be really a little bit detail oriented when you do the die cutting. This card looks a lot more complicated than it really is. The difficult part is in the die cutting. As long as you are careful when you line up the different sections of the card, you shouldn't have any trouble making a card just like this. Let me move this out of the way and start showing you how to create this card. This card actually opens up to three different sections. And you, you couldn't really see in the front picture, but I wanted to give you an opportunity to see it. So I've temporarily glued it down so it'll stay put during the video, but I'm going to put a little, oops, put the lie to it, <laughs> put a little Velcro on that to make it stick. So in addition to the papers, I'm going to, stop it, <laughs> I'm going to need the following inks. Broken China by Distress Ink, Paris Dusk by Memento, and Versafine Onyx Black. Additionally, I have a bunch of watercolor uh, markers. These are Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I will list all of these down below so you don't have to have a long video. And I have one orange watercolor pencil. I also have the Wink of Stella markers. I have the glitter red and the glitter gold. Move this out the way. And the stamps I'm using today is a new stamp set that I just got for uh, my daughter's birthday. This is going to be my daughter's birthday card. I, I think I mentioned that. This is called um, Your Super. And it had this cute little girl with a uh, cityscape, some lightning bolts, and a shield and a, a bunch of superhero sayings and it has a matching die cut set available. This is from My Favorite Things. Also I'm going to be using the stitched rectangles frames from Lawn Fawn and the Spellbinder A2 Matting Basics. And I am going to just jump right in with the card. This is, it looks complicated but it's really going to be really simple and I hope you think it's a lot of fun. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to stamp the uh, girl and the cityscape. So I already have the stamps on my uh, Misty tool where I want them and I'm going to do the cityscape first. This is um, a, going to be a tight fit so I have to be real careful so I took a little time to make sure I had it before I started. So this is a very solid uh, stamp, so I want to be sure that I get a really good coverage. So I'm going to stamp this a few times. And I think it's going to take three, but let's see. Well, it definitely wasn't one. <laughs> okay. I want this to be really, really solid. And it moved. Oh, no. Two-sided paper for the win. Make sure it doesn't move this time. <clears throat> okay. Just in case. Okay. I think I'll give it three just to be sure, but it looked like two was enough. I need to re-ink this pad, I think. Yes, that's good. <clears throat> I'll clean this real quick. And now I'll move this up. I'll be careful not to smudge that because it's wet. 
Do I have to put that there? Because the girl needs all that room. Yep. Oh, well. Okay, so the girl I'm going to stamp in Versafine. we did with her good enough all right let that dry real quick <clears throat> now I'm going to do some more stamping get my yellow and stamp my pow. Look. Just center that in there. that aside and next thing I'm do I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way because I don't want to accidentally get ink all over that and I have done that in the past so now I'm going to go on to the water coloring for the girl so I have all of these markers and I'm going to illustrate how to do it using, uh, let's see, let's use her um, tunic. So I, I should have mentioned this is Bristol Smooth uh, Paper and this is the best paper for these Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. The um, ink just flows right over this paper very easily. So I'm going to, I want her clothes, this is the wrong one caught that at the last. I want her clothes to be mostly yellow with the orange tint. So I'm going to just put the lining, the line color, just drop it in along the edges. And then I'm going to come through and fill in with the water and that will make it be yellow with a dark tinge of orange. So that'll add the shadow. And you see, as soon as you put the water, then it just slides right on out and the color just smoothly blends across this paper. And because I started at the edge, the most color will be on the left edge and that gives it natural shading. Okay, so I'm going to go through and do the rest.
Okay, that's the watercolor. I just this just needs a moment to dry. And we'll move on to the next step. Now the fun part. The two card bases will go together in such a way that it has three sections. So I don't know if you can see this with this big shot here, but um, this will be the front of the card and the back of this will be the inside of the card. So it goes like this. And this will be the middle part. So in order to make sure that the, the openings line up, I'll have to cut both of the front and the middle at the same time with the die. But in order to do that, so I don't have a, a mirror image, I'm going to need to line it up so that this one is touching this one, like this. Okay, so I basically just flip these over. Okay? All right. So I'm going to run it through this way. And because my bottom plate is well loved and there's a lot of action has been going on through that, I'm going to take a piece of copy paper and cover it so that all of the imprints of the cuts will not transfer to my cardstock. So this is going to add a, a little bit of um, uh, dimension to this, but it should be all right with just adding just that copy sheet. So remember, this is the first card base, and this one here, going that way, is the second card base, and I've sandwiched, sandwiched them that way. And now on top of that, I'm going to take the five and a half by four and a quarter panel and put that right on top. Now you have to be sure when you send it through that you don't catch the end of the paper in the machine because then you'll get a nasty fold which you do not want. And you have to be sure that it doesn't move. Okay, I want to make sure that my frame is rather near the top but not too much and centered that way. So I think that's enough. Now this is going to be a really tight fit, so it's going to take a lot of effort to get it through here. So here we go. And I'm going to run it through several times and make sure that I cut all the way through. This is, don't need it. And with this one, well, not that one because I ran my nail on it. Oh no! <laughs> this one, I'm going to get another cutout of the girl and another cutout of the pal, which is where? Okay. Well, actually, I can use that one. Now I'm going to do the rest of the die cutting. So the piece of white that's left, I'm going to cut this frame out. This shape of the yellow, and then I'm going to cut as many as I can out of this black here. So I'm just going to go through and do this. Moving along. Now these, these are the different pieces of the card itself. So this is the front and this will be the back. So I'm going to do some quick stamping on here. Let's 
straighten it a little bit. And uh, this card looks a lot harder than it actually is, but it's really not that hard. It's just a little complex, but not. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use use this mat to help me line up the stamping for the inside of the card. So let's move this, uh, no, just this one. We need this one. And we are going to bring in the mat. Do I have that right? Right, okay. And I'm gonna hold this in place and I'm gonna put the skyline about where I want it to be. And I think this is probably a good spot here because I have to be sure to leave enough room for the girl to come in. Okay. Now that I have that in place, I'm going to bring in the front and I'm going to temporarily fold this backwards so that I have access to the, the back of the car, well, the inside actually, and hold this down. And I'm going to double check the placement with the mat because the mat is the same dimensions as the cart itself. And that looks right. Okay, now this is a little thick, so I have to be real sure it does not move. And again, I'm going to have to give this a couple of stamps to make sure that I get a solid image. It may take three or more. And I have to be real sure that it doesn't move because if it moves, I am going to have to start all over again because I will have ruined the bottom. Okay, that was two. And there's three. Give that a second. Good, all right. Now I'm going to bring in the mat again and put the pow thing in place. But I need to be sure that I have this stamp correctly because there is an up and a down to this. Let's make sure I have it. And that wasn't it. See, that's why we check. Okay, this is correct. And I want it to be a little bit over the outside, but just enough so that you can see the words. And I think that's good. Transfer that to the door. Move this out. Okay, now this is gonna be done in the black. One more stamp. I need to get the words which says you're amazing. And I'm going to eyeball where this needs to go. Touch my finger. Let's try there. Okay, great progress. Now I'll open that back up now so it'll lay flat. Now I'm gonna use this to help me do the, uh, the broken china blending. But I don't want to mess that part up, so I'm gonna temporarily bring in one of these black die cuts and hold it in place but I want to have it just a little bit higher than the stamped image so that I don't get a ghost of blue there we go now bring this back in 
All right. Now just a matter of filling in this area with the blue. Let's see how we did. I'm not happy with that, so let's fill that in a little bit. Okay. Now the rest is just going to be simple card assembly. This is no longer needed. So I'm going to just let the music run and do the card. Okay, that's the finished card. I'm going to put a little bit of Velcro on that card. Let me show you how it is on this one. And this will hold the card closed. This is the hook and loop tape. So I have to go get it and put that on here, but I'll do that before I take the picture. And please note that you have to trim a little bit off of this side so that you get a good uh, seal because it will buckle a little bit if you don't. 
So it looked a little bit complicated, but I hope you will try this yourself. And lining up everything is really easy. If you didn't like how this part looked, you could of course cover this part up with another with the mat that we have used if you wanted to. But I think this looks alright. It's it's totally up to you. Okay. I hope my daughter likes this card because she really is a super, a super girl. And I hope that you will try this card yourself. Remember this stamp set is from uh, My Favorite Things called uh, Super, You're Super. You're Super. Let's drag that back in so you can see it again. My Favorite Things. So please try and get, try and get this, this uh, stamp set if you can and remember to keep an eye out for the die cuts also. There's also the sh a die cut to cut the shield and there is a mask and the lightning bolt, but that's not in this card design. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and all of the materials that I have used today will be listed down below in the comment section so you don't have to try and remember what you saw. And I'd like to thank my brother David for the music that he's provided for this channel. And I hope you're enjoying that. Let me move this out of the way so you can see the card. Oh, I just realized that I forgot one <laughs> stamp for the inside. Because how could you be a superhero without this little message? You saved the day like the Powerpuff Girls. There we go. <laughs> There, now it's finished. I probably am going to put a couple of sparkles on the front. You know me and rhinestones. But uh, I really like this card. Take care, everyone, and have a great day. Or should I say, have a super day. <laughs>